health system to sustain the increased numbers of cases that that will bring. So, a shift in mindset taking place in Australia and one New Zealand authorities will be keeping a close eye on in the coming weeks. A lot of feedback from you all on the COVID announcements today. This listener says, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Another says, the real anger will be if Auckland remains in lockdown because the rest of the country hasn't got vaccinated. On the subject of Northland, I was asking um, Chris Hipkins about the woman in Northland who's been evading authorities. Um, and this listener says, Hipkins has been dodging these same questions for days now. Northland deserves some more transparency. Philip has got in touch to say, so good these commentators from somewhere else, not Auckland. Every single person we speak to out here in the real world would rather make their own decisions according to their vaccination status and their risk tolerance. Enough. We've all had enough, says Philippa. On schools and mandatory jabs for teachers, uh, Petra says the government missed the bus on the school thing, should have pushed four to six weeks ago for school staff to be jabbed during the holidays in order to facilitate the soonest possible opening of schools. January the 1st is far too soft, both jabs by the 1st of December is possible, and allow schools to plan next year's staffing. Our country school in Auckland's super city northern area arranged for staff to go down the road for jabs two months ago. Sue so says please, please can senior students get back if they only have four weeks at school from October 18th. That is a common theme. This one here says, what about the Auckland Senior School students due to start their Cambridge external exams next week? They can't be rescheduled. These students have worked all year towards their exams. Plus, they've been studying for weeks. The bubbles of 10 criteria are apparently very restrictive and don't allow for the fact that the students are sitting different combinations of sub subjects. It is a logistical nightmare for the schools to try and operate. Why has nobody considered the impact on this cohort of senior students? Good evening, I'm Marama Tipole. The Prime Minister is describing this period as one of the most challenging and trickiest of the pandemic in New Zealand so far. Cabinet has decided COVID-19 in Auckland will remain unchanged for another week. Parts of Waikato to, to, to region are likely to move to alert level 2 from Friday. Jacinda